Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Capital Markets Investor Relations in two minutes or less. Today we're gonna to talk about the distinction of being an operator versus an analyst. And having operated a business gives you a unique perspective and insight into covering a universe of companies that are public. And historically, the best analysts typically worked at a company in their industry or maybe a company that they're going to be covering in their coverage universe. Today, that's not so much a requirement. And what I'd like to do is really illustrate this difference in perspective by looking at the industry of digital healthcare and HealthStream in particular. So what is the difference between an operator and an analyst? Well, an operator is someone who's actually run a business, either from a finance seat or an operational seat, but they've actually run a business and had key decision-making authority. And an analyst is an accomplished finance pro. They're both very smart people. It's just a very different set of skills and experiences the two have. So let's look at digital healthcare and primarily what I call this digital healthcare dilemma. And it's the idea of can the business scale and sustain long-term growth? And the analyst view would have been, the differentiator would have been and the valuation driver would have been technology advantages. Think, are you a single instance, multi-tenant software offering? Whereas an operator view might actually be, can the company scale? And really it's that ability to scale that's driving the valuation premium. And the key there is, can you develop a large user base and then increase monetization of that user base over time? Now let's extrapolate this to an example of HealthStream. HealthStream is a small company based in Tennessee that most people have never heard of unless you work in healthcare. And so let's look at it from the analyst view. The analyst view would have been, it's a small, simple company, lots of analog assets, even though it's a digital company, as the SaaS multiple means it's overvalued. Now, the operator view is HealthStream's a cornerstone franchise in digital healthcare. They have a significant ability to scale, and you could argue that the market cap seems undervalued relative to entities like Doximity or Teladoc or GoodRx. And so, what are the key learnings? An operator experience gives valuable perspective. You start to change your lens and understanding of a business and what drives value. And secondly, Digital healthcare valuation premiums are driven by scale, not technological advantages. Thanks for watching. Always here to help with your capital markets, investor relations, and corporate finance needs.